What's up, everybody? It's Camille Dame, your online Ableton certified motivator. And I'm back with another Dive in Life tutorial this week. And this week, it's going to be about swing, how to swing. It's very cool to have a beat where the hi-hats are swinging. It comes from more of the jazz and blues kind of music where the 16th notes are leaning towards the 4th and the 8th notes. And I'm going to show you in this Dive in Life tutorial how this goes down. So let's dive in. Here we are, Ableton Live, and I set up a basic beat. You know, I have, um, I have a basic beat started here, just to kick in the clap. But if I now, let's say, add some hi-hats, and I would take like a closed hi-hat, like this guy, and I can use velocity to make it a bit more interesting, of course. That's always nice. And now, it's like this, but it's kind of straight. So what we can do uh, about this, we can go here to the groove pool and right click and say browse groove library. We get all kinds of cool stuff. There's hip hop, Latin percussion, uh, etc., etc. I like the MPC ones. Uh, the regular swing ones are cool. The SP1200 as well. The Logic ones, are basically they're all cool. And they all look alike a lot. So they sound alike a lot. <laughs> and um, uh, I like the... Uh, 16 swing and then usually around 67 you can hear it's quite a cool swing very swingy so I can add it in here and I can then select here in the groove of the clip the hi-hats the swing so now instead of straight swung and with the timing I can add how much I want. That's pretty cool, right? So what if I now add like an open hi-hat? Let's add this open hi-hat. That's nice. Adds a lot of swing. If you then press commit here in the left side, you see that the notes are moving. So basically this 16th note of this uh, 16th note, which was previously here, now actually leans a bit towards this 8th note and as you can see there's a little gap between this 4th note and the 16th note which is moved to the right same here same here same here same here etc so that's cool what if I undo all this and I make the swing go away and I'm gonna do it manually because the other option is to do it yourself so basically if I take now it's like this straight and if I take this guy, move it to the right, take this guy, move it to the right, this guy, and this guy. Then the first part will be swung, second part will be straight. And the more you move it to the right, the more swingy it gets. See? It really starts to bounce. So basically this really minimal vibe, that's really this. I like it a bit more of a bit less swing like this but sometimes if you want to create a really swinging track you can make it a bit more exaggerated this is super cool you can also do this with the clap for instance if I have the clap here uh, the clap is here what I like to do is create a longer loop and create on the end in the last 16th note here create a clap and normally it's like that's cool, but if you also make this one swing, let's go a bit to the left. And the more you move to the right, the more it leans towards that, that first fourth note. That's different than this. See, so that's swing, and it's really cool, and especially these last bars here in the end, you want to create a bit more swing. So what if I say here, one before, make it a bit softer so it really jumps into the other clap and have one here. Like the eight notes, you won't swing. These, you, these ones you won't well, let straight, but these ones you can, you can swing. Let's see how this sounds. So then you have like a whole pattern. Now it's a bit strange because these hi-hats are, are not all, all swung. 
So let's move these back here. Now they're all swamped. So this is really cool to to play around with, to create swing in your music, makes it really funky and more like powerful. Like, yeah, you want to rock it. So check out all these swings. There's so much stuff to uh, to explore. They have hip hop swing, break beats, maybe for your hi hats. You can you can do all kinds of stuff. So either you can use the, the groove pool and use that swing by putting it here and committing it, or you can manually swing your sounds. If you do a manual, if you're a manual swinger, which sounds weird, but if you're a manual swinger, you might want to check out because with the swing from Groove Pool, they all get the similar swing. But if you do it yourself, you might make some a bit too short uh, compared to another sound, another element that you have swung less. So make sure that you that you if you do it manually, that you really listen to your groove and how it's uh, how it's behaving. It's also really cool in your bass. You know, if we create a quick, quick bass here with an operator, let's say here, at like a uh, this guy had like a sine wave. Nice. Add maybe a, a square wave to this bass. Bit of sound design in, in between. I'm gonna talk about my sound design course as soon as well. Here we go. Bit of this, bit of this. There you go. Cool. Cool bass. So now, if I wanna, let's say, create a, uh, a, let's go a bit lower. That's a bit too low. There we go. Let's say in G. So we can maybe put one on the beat, doom, and then do 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 do. And this is a sixteenth note, so I can swing it. Put this seven semitones up to the fifth of the chord and then here maybe go to third and make it also swung let's see what it does maybe also to do so we can make maybe go to the the second so if we're here on g one two swing that as well and then get one on the one do whatever you know you can do all kinds of stuff so yeah that's swinging on the bass as well so now so then you then you have like a super swinging swinging um, groove you know with the bass is swinging the heights are swinging and you can really use a lot of stuff like um, congas and bongos swung, maybe some percussion, uh, per quirky percussion in between that you swing. So this is how to swing. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and I'll react. If you like the Dive in Life tutorial, short and powerful inspiration, leave a, leave a comment, subscribe, share, whatever. Uh, follow Lessons in Life on Facebook. I have a Facebook group where we share all these nice tutorials or insights or samples or plugins. So check out uh, the Facebook group Lessons in Life. Also, if you want to join me uh, and see what I do, uh, I have a website uh, with the Modern Music platform where I offer courses and um, yeah you can check out what I do and uh, there's a mailing list of course testimonials but uh, the most important thing here is private lessons online focus beginners online um, inspired advanced where you can uh, follow my courses I have maximum of eight people in class so make sure to be quick when uh, a new class is starting and last but not least I have free Ableton introduction classes and free sound design master classes for advanced people to promote my courses so you can see how I teach we can get to know each other and maybe you'd like to follow one of these courses I do different time zones like Australia New York uh, Mexico and and Europe so check it out maybe I'm gonna be become your teacher so hope you like this tutorial and hope you enjoyed the inspiration and have fun swinging your beats I'll see you in the next one